This week has seen some major news with the last disclosure of Apple's hardware roadmap. Hopefully, this year we'll see the release of the new iPad Pro and iPad Air models in addition to a full range of Macs with M4 processors. With M4 chips being the hot cake, everyone wants a piece off. Does this mean M4 is already here and ready to take the world by storm? In our video today, we're going to talk about everything you need to know about the M4 chip, Apple's roadmap, and Apple's plan for implementing them in their tech. So, without further ado, let's begin. Straight off the bat, Apple is planning to release its first lineup of MacBooks, powered by M4 chips in late 2024. According to our old and reliable source, Mark Garman, last year we saw Apple introducing the M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max chips all at once during the month of October. With that specific signature move set, according to German, this might happen yet again, as the entire Mac lineup is slated to be released across late 2024 and early 2025. With this, we can easily expect updated versions for the likes of the MacBook Air, Mac Mini, Mac Studio, and Mac Pro, with artificial intelligence sprinkled on top to make the whole deal a lot better. First in line to get the upgraded M4 chips are the iMac, the MacBook Pro, and the Mac Mini followed by the 13 and 15 inch MacBook Air models, likely in spring 2025. According to Bloomberg, they've also added the Mac Studio might get the upgrade in mid-2025 followed by the Mac Pro later in the same year. Mac rumors stated that Apple is almost finished with producing the M4 processors and interestingly they are planning to release the processor in at least three main varieties. The Verge collaborated with Bloomberg and also puts the names on perspectives. With the entry-level M4 chip code named Donan, the mid-tier chip called Brava, and the highest performing chip called Hydra. The Donan chip will be used in the entry-level MacBook Pro, the MacBook Air, and the lower-end varieties of Mac Mini, while the Brava chips will be utilized in higher-end MacBook Pro and Mac Mini variants. The Hydra chip is designed specifically for the Mac Pro, from which it's easy to assume that it'll be an ultra or extreme tier chip. As for the Mac Studio, according to McRumors, Apple is already testing variants with an unreleased M3 era chip alongside a variation of the M4 Brava processor, that we can assume to be more powerful than the M4 Pro or M4 Max Brava variants. On the desktop side, the M4 versions of Mac desktops, according to Mac rumors, could be supporting as much as 512 GB of unified memory, which if true, could be a substantial upgrade over the current 192 GB cap. In terms of build, these M4 chips will be built on the tried and tested 3 nanometer process as the M3 chips. But the main difference this time around is the Apple supplier TSMC will be likely using an improved version of the 3 nanometer process for a solid bump in terms of performance and power efficiency. Not to mention, Apple is going to add a much improved neural engine that comes with an increased amount of cores to focus directly on tasks that are related to artificial intelligence. With all that being said, we'll likely get more confirmations and information into the AI features and the chip itself when Apple holds its annual Worldwide Developers Conference on June 10th. Till then, we have our fingers crossed and can't be any more excited. What are you the most excited about regarding the M4 chips? And what are you expecting from the event? Do let us know, as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want content like this on your feed.